Sarah from Finland. And I'm Henriette from Germany. And we are here in Berlin at History Campus 1414. So we will show you around a bit. And so look back and think forward. that the World War One is something like one of the most senseless things that ever happened and it's a sign for how stupid humans actually are. And the First World War always reminds me of human tragedy. World War One was really interesting because it changed the war from the old Napoleon wars to the new technical wars. So there died so many people because of machines. Yes, the Great War was a big disaster and catastrophe for Europe. Many countries probably didn't imagine what a disaster it would become. The First World War was a moment of madness, but it created an age of instability. World War I means to me a big absence of knowledge. I think First World War was an important event, well, which is in the basis of actual Europe. World War I had a tremendous impact on society structures. World War I was something I wouldn't imagine I would have uh, been able to handle or experience today. No way. Good morning. Good morning. So we are the Max Mgogi Theater. And here at the History Campus we have many different people from many different countries doing so many different workshops. So let's go inside and see what's happening. Come on. My name is Lars. I'm 20 years old and I'm from Greece. My name is Alexander. I'm 22 years old and I come from Germany. Uh, we are in the workshop gaming um, World War I and making history into a game. What is your view of the war? It was not necessary um, because it harmed the whole relationship in Europe. Um, so World War I has determined the future of Europe for more than 100 years and uh, will determine the future of us now uh, till now because the outcome was so overwhelming. The war was so cruel, so bad. We learned a lot about it, also about the Second World War. And um, I think there are some similarities nowadays. So do you have a personal connection to the World War? My ancestors came from um, southern France and just moved to Germany, the Rhineland, before the war broke out. And they fought actually for the um, army of Germany. So I wanted to understand why people who came just about 20 years earlier from France, fought for their new nation, Germany, weren't uh, any more connected to their old nation, France. And that's a very interesting question for me. Well, my name is uh, Johannes. I'm from Germany. I'm in the workshop, where were you a hundred years ago? We have been working with texts a lot so far, uh, moduling these texts in a new way, uh, making kind of a new collage out of it, and now we're trying to melting these together into something new. What about what kind of connection do you see between World War I and Europe today? Um, it affected borders, it affected nationalities, um, national identities, um, people moving from here to there. I grew up in a family that spoke a language I do not know. If I question what is my national identity, I have to go back and back and back, and at a point there is World War I and what it did. I think we're, we're kind of losing grip of that, where we're just, we don't even have direct remembrances anymore. I see it fading away. We should get it back. So hello, my name is Christine. I come from Latvia, currently I live in Germany, and my workshop is called Express Yourself, and it's theater workshop. Okay, so I would say that um, like we speak a lot about war, yeah. and, uh, but this, this is something I can't really understand, because I never experienced it. 
I still don't know where my roots are. I don't know where do they come from because I can't ask anyone because all the people because of the war. So yeah, they unfortunately they died and there's no one who could like, yeah. So tell me my story. And today, Europe is doing everything they can to avoid such a tragedy as World War One. Concerning Europe, I think it was interesting because it changed uh, the whole landscape and the political card. Hey, Europe is a uh, unity in diversity. I do hope that Europe has taken enough consequences to commemorate the war in a way that European countries stand up and prevent from another happening war. Um, I think of how far the continent has come in the past 50, 60 years um, with the European Union and how that now we're, we're able to work together to create um, a peaceful continent for all the 500 million people within the European Union and all the countries outside of it. But in a strange way, all the wars and the terrible things that happened led to the European Union that we have today. I think uh, Europe has to change a lot because uh, we are still a group of countries which are trying to, to go together to, and to make something bigger. And Europe today is connecting itself and it's pretty cool. The idea of United Europe was an impossible task for my grandparents, was a dream for my parents, but for me it is a reality. <laughs>